Hey, so it's fall here in New Jersey. The uh, days now get shorter and the temps plummet and the leaves pile high in the yard. So there's a number of important things that I need to think about to prepare my house for winter. Specifically, when water turns to ice, what kind of damage could it cause around my house? So I've already taken care of the pool. I've winterized that around Labor Day. But now it's time for me to think about my sprinkler system and my garden hoses. And even if you don't have a sprinkler system to worry about, I'm going to show you the easiest way to winterize your garden hoses so they don't burst during the winter. So I get started in the basement. And down in my basement, I've got two shutoff valves that shut off the water to the hose bibs on the outside where the garden hoses are hooked up to. And uh, those valves are usually set back from the wall because the cold from the outside can actually freeze water inside the pipes as it comes into the house. So you definitely want to make sure they're turned off and drained. And so the first one is the sprinkler system. That one is right by my water meter. So this is the main water coming into the house and there's a shutoff here. This is a three quarter inch line that then goes straight out to the sprinkler system. And off of that is this line which goes to the, the spigot on the outside of the house. So what I do is I turn this off. I turn this off and then I blow air in through the spigot and it pushes the water out of the sprinkler system. While I'm down here, I go over to the other side of the basement and I have a little trap door here where there's another shutoff valve up here. That one goes out underneath the sunroom to the two spigots on either side of the sunroom. Then I fire up the compressor and I run the air hose to the front of the house. For me to blow out my sprinkler system, I have a hose bib that I blow air into, and the way that I do that is obviously with the compressor, but I have this little adapter that I made. This end goes on the hose bib, it's a standard hose fitting size, and uh, then there's an adapter here that makes it smaller, a reducer, and that allowed me to put in one of these things, which is the size of the compressor hose. So I run these around the house and put it into the hose bib and turn on the compressor and open the system and it'll blow out each zone at a time. It's important to turn the pressure down before blowing out the line so you don't actually pop a line. This is my first year that I'm able to use the Rachio for this. I just bring out my smartphone, go into the remote, say I want to go, let's see, I'll start with the front left zone, and I'll turn it on to five minutes. I'm not going to run it that long, but I'll set it for five minutes. Hit run now. And there you go, the water comes out. And when the farthest one starts blowing air, I know that the water's out of the system. That's good. Now I can stop it. And let the compressor fill with air again. I love the fact that I can stand out here in the yard and control this. It's the best. 
I can hear the compressor, so I know when it's full. So I'll hear it shut off, I'll do it again. One very important thing you have to do if you have a backflow preventer like this, there's two drain plugs in the side, they have to come out, otherwise water will sit in there and it can freeze and crack the thing. After you do that, you're done and good for the winter. One of the other things I can do is blow out the hoses with this. I take the nail end of the hose, put it on here, the other end is detached and held down here with a couple bricks so it doesn't go flying. And then, connect it up, and stand back. Then I don't have to put it away for the winter. I have a hose reel on this side and I have another hose on the other side of the sunroom. They both fed from that valve in the basement which is turned off so I actually blow air through this hose and out through the other hose I get two for the price of one. That's why I put the other one on bricks. All ready for the winter. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.